Okay, Psalms 25, verse number. In the whole, the whole Psalm. Psalm 25. Else may respond to reading. Amen. I'll read verse number one. We'll read verse number two, and uh, let's read responsibly. Verse number one. I'll read verse two. You read and responsibly. Psalms 25, verse one. Unto Thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O oh my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on Thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me, me thy ways, O Lord, teach me thy paths. Give me in thy truth, teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait for the day. Remember, O Lord, and the mercies in thy loving kindness, for they have been ever of old. Remember the sins of my youth. For my past questions, according to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, Lord. Good and our eyes, Lord, therefore we teach sinners in the wicked. The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. All the, All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth, truth and to such as keep his covenant, covenant and his testimonies. Thy name sake, O Lord, part of my iniquity, for his way. What man is he that feareth the Lord? He shall be teaching the way that he shall choose. So shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the land. Turn ye unto me, and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. Troubles of my heart are enlarged, O bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are men, and they hate me with thy cruel hatred. O keep, oh, keep my soul and deliver me, and let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. We believe Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. We believe that Jesus Christ was born, right? Even though we do not believe literally in December 25, but at least we thank God because Jesus Christ was born. And that's why we are thankful because we believe that Jesus Christ is the greatest gift. Jesus Christ is the reason for the season and for us to be really Christians without Christ, the, the, the three letters I A N, I am nothing without Christ. If you don't have Christ, right. a person without Christ is not a real Christian. Right. Filipino, the Philippines is the only Christian nation in the Far East. I Christian man. Okay. Um, not only that you are not a Muslim, because you said that you are not a Muslim or Christian. But no, I didn't. I'm not a Christian. I am to make up some money for the Jesus Christ said, "Today you will be with me in paradise." Mga isip mo kano man, ba? Part one or part two? Para matuto yung tayo ni. Oh, and I'm I'm really thankful that you are here to pray. Na para nila. Magkakabas lang tayo. Parang walang matanda, walang bata. Sabi ni Dr. Nina, bumaba ka, ayos. Diba? So, really, sa mata ng Panginoon, walang bata, walang matanda. Ang isang tao, walang puso sa kanyang puso, yung piyero niya. Again, what shall it prove the man if he shall gain the whole and lose his own soul? Ang mahalaga, ay yung salita ng Diyos. Man, don't get it to your outward appearance. Hindi ko po kayo masisize. Nakikita yun talaga ako. But then, I hope and pray that we will hear the words of God and listen because I believe that the greatest knowledge is to know who you are. Walang silbi ang lahat ng kalaman mo sa mundo ito kung hindi mo kilala ang Panginoon. Hindi mo alam ang kalooban niya. You know, in 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9, That God is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Ayan Diyos, na tayo ang makasalala, 
Sabi ng salita ng Diyos ay mapapahamak tayo sa dagat na gata ng aboy. The excuse, sabi ng batas natin, the ignorance of the law excuses no one. Hindi tayo hindi mo alam. There is what we call sin of ignorance. Nasa huli palagi ang pagsisisi. Recently, last week, if that I'm not mistaken, last week ba na, we have our young people nilibig namin sa Balistero sa Gayaan. Sabi doon sa cemetery nila, ako ngayon, ikaw bukas. Oh! Hebrews 9, we said, and he said, Apoy, and to men once to die, and after this, the judge is dead. Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest that what they have been. Well, hindi mo kayo, hindi mo alam, ha? Hindi dahil bata ka, or dalaga, or binata, you don't know. Kung matanda lang na mamatay. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Kapag ikaw yung nanampal tayo sa Corinth, ikaw yung gagawin niya. If ever, for if ever, and being twice, he's a new creature. All these things are passed away, and all all things are become new. And, di ba? The things, the place you are, doon ka dahil pumupunta, hindi ka lang pumupunta. Di ba? The clothes you used to wear, the movies you used to watch, the things you used to do, You do them no more because you are now a Christian. Diba? And sometimes, even sabihin natin, binago tayo ng point. The question is, anong ginagawa natin? What are we really doing? Mayroon pa tayong ginagawa. Lahat ng advice ng mga pastor sa Thanksgiving, sa mga Bible students. We have a Bible school there. We have B-moves. And vegan now. Sa kung pumunta si Bishop de Rivera and the Kadalasan, kadalasan, magpatuloy kayo, magpatuloy kayo, magpatuloy kayo. Paano magpatuloy? Di ba? Kaya makikita natin dito mga patid, the wonder of God's guidance. The wonder of God's guidance. Number one, ang guidance ng Panginoon, huwag niyo kakalimutan, is always divine. Okay. Eh, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16, Be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Kaya nasa niya sa Romans chapter 6 verse 1, God forbid that you continue to sing. Diba? Ano ang point na ikaw ay pinatawa ng Panginoon tapos magpapatulog lang sa kasalanan mo? Hindi tayo perfect, but of course, to Him that know it to do good and do it if not. What's the point? To Him it is sing. That's why the Bible says that sin is always of the devil. Sa isip, sa salita, sa gawa. Ang tindi, tumingka lang sa babae. Ang may pagnanasa na, di ba? Kaya, wow, legs! Oo! Di ba? Kaya nga, I'm so happy. Ang gaganda po ninyo, ang gaganda ng damit ninyo. Because, be careful little eyes what you see. Napakagrabe po ngayon na elementary pa lang. Anag, ah, I love you na. Diba? Huwag niyong basta-basta kita nga yung salita ay love you because remember, love is not the love that the, the world thinks. Love is of God. Love is divine. Agape. It is spiritual. It is sacrificial. Kung talagang mahal mo, mag-sacrificial ka. Greater love but no man and this is the man who lay down his life for his man. Hindi ako nanigaw. Nung hindi ko talaga, hindi ako handa na ibigay ang buhay ko sa akin. Oo. Pinigyan na, manuligaw ka, mag-I love you ba? Di ba kaya yung spelling nila ng I love you, I L A B, I love, laboratory, experiment muna. Kadas muna, sabi na sabi sa iyo. Di ba? Kaya, meron kami kasabihan na, alam mo, Kibin, Kibin, Pakalat, Rubin. O, kuyok, kuyok, pakalat ni si ko. Magpapakalam, pupunta sa SM. Pero, di ba? Yung ano, SM ay silong ng mangga. Silong ng mangga. Kaya nga sabi namin. Pupunta doon, alas alas dose ng ating gabi. Anong kakagawin? O, di ba? Ah, be careful. Yung sabi na SHWW, di ba? Both in hands, one book. You can just imagine the Bible says in the last days, in Peter chapter three, Peter's time shall come. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. The lackeys, the lackeys, the bahes, the bahes. Hindi ko na hindi ko pa imagine yung lalaki. 
Kaya daw hindi sila uh, Kaya daw sila nagpaparami kasi hindi sila nanganap <laughs> Kaya mga kapatid Always remember that the guidance of God is divine Verse 10, chapter 2, verse 16 Love of the world for all in the world The last of the flesh, the last of the eyes And the pride of life is not of the Father It's not of the world Alam mo na yan Mayroon tayong tinatawag na conscience that clear conscience. And sometimes the Lord used that for us to be guided with this divine love. Uh, Ayaw na tayong mapahamak. Kaya nga in Hebrews chapter 12, verse number 6, Do not forget that when you are a son, daughter of God, He will chastise you. Uh -huh. To whom He loved His corporate and chastened every son whom He received. But if you do not receive chastisement, pasaway ka pa rin. Sabi na po sa Itaan Diyos, you are pastors and my sons. Baka hindi ka niya anak, baka hindi ka mag-focus ka na. Ako. Diba? Kaya nagkakaroon ka ng doubt. Always remember that His guidance is divine and His guidance is clear. Okay? Akala ko ito, ang pinakamadali exam ay multiple choice. Pipili ka lang, A, B, C, D. Pero maraming mga kumulawatin bumabagsak. Eh, hindi dahil nag-review, papasa. Eh, antay na lang napipili mo na. True or false na nga lang, dalawa na lang napipilihan mo. Pagkakamali ka pa. Ha? Kaya ang mabuti na lang sa Panginoon, Jesus is the only way. Wala ka ng ibang pagpipilihan. Ha? Jesus Christ is the only way. Joshua said, Choose you this day and we will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The first commandment, do not forget that. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Nakakalukot, no? Ang daming mga religion. Pero, mabuti na lang Baptist tayo. It's only Baptist to preach the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, John and the Baptist, wala pang kanya din nun. But he pointed the Lord Jesus Christ, the forerunner of Christ. Jesus Christ, John chapter 1 verse 20, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the whole world. Only Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's all about Him. It's not about you. It's not about me. Yeah. It's always about Him, the church. And everything that we do, we do all for the glory and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians yeah. chapter number 2, always remember. Diba? Every day. Masaya ngayon, parang minumura, minamahal ka ng Panginoon. But thank God, there will come, will come a time, one day, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Napakabilis po na panahon. His guidance is divine, His guidance is clear, and His guidance is continual. Wow. His guidance is for the whole of your life. Huh. Hebrews chapter 13, verse number, number 5. <laughs> Let your conversation be without forgiveness. <laughs> for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His guidance is continual. Every details of your life, even before you were born. Titus chapter 1, verse number 2, in hope of eternal life, which God cannot write, He promised before the world began. Uh -huh. Alam mo, kilala ka na yan, bawa ko may panganak. Alam mo, anong itsura mo, anong klase, ang buhok mo, ang umulog na. Sabi yan ang Bible, di ba? Everything, lahat ng mga bilang ng buhok natin. Alam niya. Alam niya rin kung sino mga pangasa mo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Diba? Amen. Oh. It's better to marry, the Bible says, than to burn. Pero yun may ibig sabihin na, diba, lahat ay makakasawa. Sabi doon ay mayroon tinatawag ng blessed, diba, ang singleness, the, the gift of, diba? And so, uh, I would like to encourage you, ladies, to be pure. Wow. There's no such thing as a perfect family. There's no such thing as a perfect hospital. But thank God, 
Meron tayo Panginoon Jesus. Amen. It's the only one who is perfect. He said, be perfect. And so, one day, we will appear before Him, the church, will be presented to Him as a glorious, blameless, spotless church. You see, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse number 15, 1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse number 15 to 58. Okay? It's very clear. The Bible says, Now is I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither that corruption inherit any corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep. But we shall all change. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, in the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then it shall be brought to to pass the same that the spirit death struggled with victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The state of death is sin, the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who has given us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord. My beloved brethren, be you steadfast and unmovable, always abiding the word of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain, Lord. That's why I hope and pray that we can say as like a whole I have finished my work. I have followed the path. I have kept the faith. So remember, His guidance is divine. His guidance is clear. And His guidance is continual. So how will the Lord guide us? Knowing that His guidance is divine, clear, and continual. Number one, the methods of His guidance is always by the word of God. Amen. Remember that the Word of God is complete revelation of God. Amen. Hindi po tayo mga pentiwasan, bakit po tayo? Amen. Inaubusan ako ng Panginoon. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bakit? Tara ba? No? Parang kulang ang salita ng Diyos at parang ikaw lang ba pinausap? Ano? 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 Ikaw lang nakakalam. Nakalungkot, no? May mga gano'n. Nag-save daw. Dahil yun. And ano, if you were going to study cults, talaga naman lahat ng cults nagsisimula sa ganyan. Be not deceived. Let us not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Right. Oo. Una yan, di ba? He will make you doubt the 16 deadly things of the devil. And then you will be discouraged. Kasi akala mo mas madali ka na. Kaya sa salita ng Diyos, meron sa akin eh. Inamon ni Satanas. Inamon po ni Satanas. Nabaliw. Oo, nabaliw. Meron kami ng Bible students. Pag-graduate na. Tapos, pasto, meron daw sinapihan doon sa barangay Buki, sabi sa akin. Pasti, punahin natin. Tapos sila, sabi ko, mag-pray na kayo. Mag-confess na kayo ng pahala ninyo. Anong kasalanan ninyo. Katapos namin mag-pray, tatakbo na sana, hindi, hindi kami ito! Pagpasok namin, talaga pulang pulang yung mga. Nag-alit kami, umawa kami ng There is fire, fire, wonder working power in the blood. Pambina, nagkanda! Para lumilipat, lumulupulong tayo pa! Gusto kong lipat! Maguro po siya, nagsasalita ng Espanyol, ng Chinese, ako ito ang mga salita. And after that, we read the words of God. Nakatulog. Nalikan namin. Masusultali ko na matay. 
Kasi 15 days, hindi kumain. Hindi ko sarap na. Sampung tao daw ang hawak ko lang. Pero mabuti, bago siya namatay, may share na namin yung gospel sa kanya. You see, the Bible says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, for it's the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believes, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. He guides us with clear direction. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17, all the scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, the proof, correction, instruction, in righteousness. The man of God may be perfect and thoroughly furnished and all good works. Natandaan natin, kung wala sa Bible, mag-ingat tayo. Kaya, yung mga ibang Bible, Bible eh, Pabuti na lang, King James Version. Oo, ayun na. Opo. Walang kaligtasan. Ang dami. Pinalis yung paan ng Pahay ng Yesus. Pinalitan. Pinalis yung dugo. Maganda. And they they change. Because the Bible says, mga patid, ang sino man ang magdagda, madadagdaga ng kanyang play. And what's that? Eh, impyan mo lang ang may dagdag sa'yo. Wala na eh. Ha? Oo. Kung maaalis yung pangalan niya, eh, yun no. Wala ka kruso. Diba? Hell, merong pasukan at walang lalabasan. And so, when we go to church, tandaan natin unang-una, ang simbahan ng Panginoon ay merong kalitasan. Only for my grace are you saved to your faith. And that out of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of words, lest any man to put. Wala kang gagawin para lang. Tapos na eh, ginawa na ng Panginoon. Naipako na siya. Once and for all. Naibuhos siya na yung kanyang dugo. Nabuhay na siya. And He can be and He will be. He's always able to be with you forever. And that's why you can see here, number two, how does God guides us? He guides us with the Word of God. He guides us with His Spirit. The Spirit of Christ. The Spirit of God. In Romans chapter number 8, verse number 9, the Bible says, okay, we, without the Spirit of Christ, He is not of peace. In John chapter 14, verse number 16. John chapter 14, verse number 16. And said, I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comforter, that He may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Yan ang napakaganda. Ang salita ng Diyos at ang Spirito ng Diyos. In Rome and John chapter number 3. Now they that are born in the flesh are flesh, and they that are born in the Spirit are Spirit. So when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ, actually the Spirit of God indwells in your body. It's the same Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Spirit of God. Remember that the Spirit is also God. Ah, yeah. Diyos din siya. Kapag kinausap ka ng Diyos, wala na Spirit of always guided by the Word of God and the Spirit of God. Hindi pwede kausapin ka ng Pahino. Nasaan mo sa Bible? Diba? Makikita natin na multo na yun. May kakausap na sa'yo. At, at para ba kulang na ang Bible? We always remember the Bible is very complete. So when you read, when you hear, when you have high the words of God in your heart, it, it will help you. In Psalms 9 verse 11, the word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin. I can when you. You have the word of God in you, the seal, ang ganda. Amen. Amen. Mga patid, ang ganda. Pag medyo kumakabog-kabog na. Delikado. When you are always in doubt, don't do it. Don't do it. Amen. When you are always in doubt, a double-minded man is a state of understanding. Let's wait. Okay? Very clear. If you 
Ephesians chapter 4 verse 13. And weep not the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby we are sealed. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 13. Quench not the Spirit of God. Okay? Pag may sinabi siya, na hindi mo sinunod. Quench. Tama? Kapag meron, uh, meron, hindi siya sinabi na ginawa mo, you are believing that Holy Spirit of God. Okay, so yun yung kumana, kumana yung Diyos. It's the same, when He said, Go into all the world. Okay? In Acts chapter 1, verse number 8, But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Uh -huh. It's always guided by the Spirit of God. Yeah. That's why we are saluting all the missionaries. Yeah. Napakagaling po ng Pahino. The Bible says, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the last of the breath. Madami ka pwede gawin. But the Bible says, you have to walk in the Spirit. You have to be guided by the Spirit of God. Okay? Number three. The Word of God, the Spirit of God, and the Man of God. Amen! Napakalaga po ang mga pastor. Okay. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. The prophet Jeremiah. <laughs> and I will give you pastors according to my heart. Which I'll feed you with knowledge. Napakagaling po ng Panginoon. It's sad to say in our church, no? Pero by the grace of God, unti-unti ang katuluan na yung mga deacon. I will give you demons. 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 So thank God for the pastors. The Bible says where no counsel is, the people perish. In the most use of counselors, there is safety. Hebrews chapter 30, verse number 7. Obey them that have the rule that for you and submit yourselves for they was for your souls. Napaka Obey when you agree and submit when you disagree. Uh, no. Sometimes we may not agree with the preaching of the word of God. The Bible says, obey and submit. Amen. Kaya mahirap po tayo mag-obey kasi we do not submit. But when we submit, we will always obey. Always remember, it's not about the man of God. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Lord calls what? the man of God to preach the word of God. Amen. Napakaganda po ang salita po ng Diyos, ang usahan. Hindi naman po ito para sa ating isang kasasama. Sometimes it's hard, diba? It hurts. And, and it really, diba? Uh, <coughs> Parang nang hamon na. It's challenging. But it's always better to obey. Obey and be blessed. Is obey and curse. You don't know what you are doing. I have already set a blessing before you. Blessing if you will obey. And curse if you will disobey. Remember, blessing. The key to blessing is in the obedience. Obeying the Word of God. Obeying the Spirit of God. Obeying God. Man, the mystery always agrees together. <coughs> Alam niyo naman yan eh. Hindi ito man nag-deserve niyo man yan. But Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So remember, He guides us with the Word of God. He guides us with the Spirit of God. He guides us with the man of God. Sana ang napakalaga po sa atin na makinig sa Nagtan ng Diyos. Because the Bible says, so that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. 
How will they hear without a preacher? Right. And how shall they preach except they preach? We have to pray for another preacher. JD, yeah. February 19, napakalaga po yun. To be set up. Amen. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace Amen. and bring glad tidings of uh, good things. How will they know the will of God if no one will preach the word of God? Amen. Cycle lang yun eh. So the word of God, the spirit of God, and the man of God. Okay, cycle po yan. And then, hindi na lang yung salita ng Diyos. Meron kaming, lagi kami nagbibigay ng Bible. Uh, I was always invited by the Gideons to give Bibles. Pero kung walang magpipreach, paano nila maintindihan? Napaganda. Ang, ang kaligtasan, ang pagsuot sa Panginoon sa tubig ng bautismo, at paglago sa simbahan. Diba? And teach them all things. Whatsoever I have, remind you, and though I am with you always, even there. Romans 8 and 20, God is with us, who can be? Amen. How do you know that? By the Word of God, by the Spirit of God, and by the Man of God. That's right.